Buck is on his way for his dinner. I had to call him. He wasn't at the spot. I'm going to kick his butt because he made me wait like literally seven minutes already. Almost ten minutes. Yeah, I was waiting for you, big boy. <laughs> the weather here cleared up. Now the sun keeps going in and out, in and out through that. It stopped raining probably. Ooh, I felt the bee. An hour after I made the breakfast video that I made this morning, like an hour after that, it stopped raining. But it was raining cats and dogs. It was crazy. Yeah. Look what I got. He got excited when he seen the grapes. He's seen the grapes here. It's okay. Nobody's here, baby. It's just me and you. Nobody's here. I'll put the rest of your stuff in your bucket, but this I feel like it's better for you to eat it like this while it's on. Because then if I have to put it in your bucket, I'm going to have to take it, everything out, all of the stem, all the grapes. Because it's going to be hard for him to sit there and pick them one by one while they're all in the stem in his bucket. So I figure if I hold it like this, it'll be easier for him. I don't see Thumper at the spot. I guess Thumper didn't hear me or see me. This morning it was Cupa because Thumper seeing me and I seen Thumper running from like my air, like my side of the house. Like he was on our property, let's say, and then he ran straight here to the spot. I was like, oh my god, how cute! So I guess this evening Thumper's busy somewhere, right? Thumper must be busy. Maybe Thumper's working somewhere. Buck's over here eating his dinner, and oh my god, the grass is growing so much. It's it's actually little by little, it's getting green in here. I can't say little by little because it's quickly actually. It grew pretty quickly. Yeah. You want me to take it off the stem? All right, I'll take it off the stem. You stretching, my big boy? Are you stretching? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I got your grapes and apples. You got more grapes. It's okay. Nobody's here. It's just me and you. You're okay. Oh, and this tree behind me, this tree right here, it keeps poking into my head that it makes me feel like I have a bug on my head. I'm going to show you how much the grass is growing. You see? That's all the new grass, that short one. It's all getting green in here, little by little. Over here, too. Well, now his nose is in a way. So <laughs> he buck your face is in a way. You see, it's all growing. So little by little, all this is gonna turn green. See, daddy did a good job. Planted all these seeds and mommy watered it and now it's growing. He ate all his breakfast because I, I came back outside today. It was around it was right before my husband left to go to work. So it was around like 1230. I told my husband, I said, I just want to go look at the bucket before you leave to go to work. I want to see if Buck ate his breakfast or he got stuck in the rain and left everything in the bucket. But I looked, there was only a little bit of corn left in the bucket. He ate all his peanuts, all his apples. So I was like, okay, good. I was like, at least I know he had his breakfast. It just sucked because while he was eating his breakfast, oh my God, it started downpouring. And then right after that came the thunder. I was like, oh my God. So the weather turned out pretty crazy. And Buck is enjoying his apples. You want in your bucket? Yeah? All right. He wants in his bucket, you see? That's how you know when he wants the food in his bucket. So what I'm going to do is I'm adding the butternut squash. I was going to say acorn. It's butternut squash. I'm adding it into here and then into his bucket. Okay, big boy. I can't stay here too long with you because I was already waiting so long for you. Yeah, I was waiting so long for him, guys. I was literally, it was, it was almost 10 minutes I was waiting for him. And, you know, I only stay here 10 minutes with him for dinner time because then, you know, I don't want to leave my in-laws with the baby so long. Because then they have to cook, you know, it's like their dinner time. So that's why I don't want to stay out here too, too long, you know. I don't want them to think I'm taking advantage of staying out here. But they know I'm not. But I'm so happy that this weather cleared up. The only thing it's been cloudy and sunny. The sun has been going in and out, in and out, in and out. That's the only thing. 
I added more water to Buck's bucket. He still had water, but it was just a little, little, like not overflowing. And I like what his water bucket is overflowing. <laughs> so then I know he has a lot of water. So now he has a lot of water throughout the whole day. I'm sure he drank from puddles throughout the day, wherever he was walking around. Sorry guys, I sneezed. It was me. Uh, excuse me. I sneezed just now. So that's why the camera just jumped because I sneezed. Sometimes I try to hold in my sneezes from sneezing, but I can't. It's hard. It just comes out, you know? <laughs> but I'm sorry I sneezed. I usually try not to call for sneeze on camera, like, you know, to be more respectful in that way. But those are things that I can't control. I don't have in my control. Well, the cough, sometimes I could control. If I have to cough, let's say, and I don't want it to come out, I could control it. <laughs> but the sneeze, that's something I guess we can't control, you know? When it has to come out, it just comes out. Oh. And I'm not allergic. Like, I don't have any allergy, like, you know, symptoms or anything. I think it's just all the smells right now, the trees and everything. They just, like, going right through my nose. <laughs> it smells so good. I can smell the grass. I love it. I love it. Thank God I don't have allergies. Because if I had allergies right now, my nose would have been, like, runny. My eyes would have been watery and itchy, probably. Like, my mom and my brother, they suffer from seasonal allergies. And that's how they get. Their eyes get watery and itchy. Their noses get runny. Sometimes their throats hurt or get itchy. My mother's like, you don't feel like that when you're over there by Buck around all those like bushes and trees and stuff? I said, no, I actually feel good. I said, I feel really, really good. Thank God. So I must have took after my dad from that part. <laughs> my brother must have took more after my mother with that. Right, big boy? Eat your food. Buck definitely is rocking a mohawk. Somebody mentioned that in the comments this, uh, was it this morning? No, yesterday. And it's true, look, Buck definitely has a mohawk. It's so cute. See, he has a mohawk. Last year, that mohawk on the front of his head, I wanna see, I don't think it's like that this year, but let me see when he looks straight to go in his bucket. Yeah, no, I don't see it. Last year, he had a cross. He had a cross, like a symbol of a cross in the front of his head, it was crazy. Like an actual cross, like a Catholic cross, like that. I was like, oh my God. But that made me think. I was like, okay, Buck, God is with you. I said, he made, he chose you to be the miracle deer to survive and just like live out your life. <laughs> That's how I looked at it. He literally had a cross going like this and like this, right in the front of his head. It was, I was amazed. I was like, wow, like since when? Like, I didn't know that could happen, you know, with, like, the hair. It's like, with the deers, like, it was just, I don't know. It was pretty unique. I might have posted it on YouTube a long time ago. I might have. I think I might have. I could have. I think I did. Whoever's been on here with me for a long, long time, I'm sure you remember when he had the cross on the front of his head. Like, his hair was shaped like a cross, the black hair. It was crazy. I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. It made me think, like, God is what definitely with him. You're blessed, Buck. I actually do have a bottle of holy water in my house. Sometimes I think about bringing it out and blessing him and just throwing a couple splits on him and be like, here, God, always be with him and stay with him and protect him. And like, you know, and like, just like, I just seen something behind Buck's foot. I don't know if that was a chipmunk. I don't know. That's when I see something running, but. But Buck is doing great. He must have had good cover because his body doesn't look wet. His body looks dry to me, so he must have been staying under good trees like earlier today, like all day. Good boy. You know, you're a smart deer, Buck. You're very smart. You probably find a really good spot to go lay under. But I got to get going because I've been out here a little too long. Cause I, I'm telling you guys, I've been out here almost 10 minutes just waiting for him to come and calling him and calling him. I want to... I was about to just dump the food in his bucket and then go back inside, but I feel bad. I don't want to do that because sometimes, you know, if he doesn't know the food is there, like, you know, he won't come right away then. So I want him to see me. I wanted him to see me at the spot that I was dumping the food in there. But then he showed up. So I'm going to get going so my mother-in-law could go, like, you know, have her dinner and stuff because it's literally almost 5 o'clock now. At least, you know, she could go eat her dinner and I'm not holding her back, you know? 
and I will be back tomorrow morning with another video. I don't think the weather is supposed to be like this tomorrow. If it is, it's not supposed to rain. It's supposed to be cloudy. I heard and sunny, but no rain. Today was just the rain, but earlier today. And the rest of the day, it's been nice. I can't complain. But I will be back tomorrow morning. Thumper is not here at the spot today, this evening. I can't say today because this morning Thumper was here. But this evening Thumper's not here. Simon the chipmunk did come and collected some corn and left. He was looking for peanuts. I felt bad. I said, this weekend I gotta buy him peanuts. So then I could bring out peanuts just for him, you know, even in the evenings too, not just morning. All right, everyone. So I'm off. I'm gonna go in and I will be back tomorrow morning with another video. Me and this big boy, we will be back soon. I hope everybody has a great day and a good night. And me and Buck will be back soon. Ciao for now.